In this video, I will show you how to work with Pika Labs. How to create text to video, image to video. How to use the different parameters for better setup. As well as the different options for camera movement, which controlling the camera movement in your video clip. And finally, I'll provide you with the option to download a file I've created that contains a selection of this helpful information. Pika Labs is an AI platform that converts text and image inputs into videos. Pika Labs works on Discord. If you want to see how to invite Pika Bot to Discord, you can check out this video. I'll leave a link in the description. Now in Discord, there are two ways of working. You can use any of the public channels to generate a video. And you can also use your private area where you can find your way more easily because you will only see your own results. To do this, select Pika bot and select massage with the right button. Now I select slash and create. Here I can enter the text to describe what video I want Pika Labs to create. Close up of a beautiful girl running through a poppy field. Whenever we describe our prompt, we must keep in mind that the video will be 3 seconds, i.e. it is not appropriate to describe complex scenes with complex movements. This is the result. Here I can indicate whether I like the video or not to guide Pika, but when I submit follow-up instructions. From here I can choose to respawn. And from here I can remix by editing the text prompt. This is the video after the Regan. And this is the video after I edited the original text prompt. Since the resulting videos are short, 3 seconds long, we need to create more frames to use later by repeatedly selecting the regenerate button. So, now I'm going to show you how you can create a video from an image. I will be using images that I created in mid-journey. Now I'm going to select some images. And now, I'm going to select slash, encrypt image, and I'm going to start with this prompt, her hair is blowing in the wind and I'm going to attach an image. Yes, there, that prompt moved my image. Now I'm going to try the same with this. Great, I'll give it a thumbs up because I like how the Pika bot turned out. You can also use this tool slash, encrypt text. Type slash, look for encrypt text in the available commands, and click it. To get started, I need to fill in the message box. This is the text that Pika will use as an element in your generation. A short word is much better than a long sentence. For this, I'll use the word eLibrary1, but we'll put it in all caps. Elibri 1, so that the letters will stand out better in the clip. I'm going to click in the prompt box and type this, sea foam, waves, ocean, sky. Then I'm going to click on the plus 1, and I'm going to choose a font. You can choose from 5 fonts, modern, comics, sans serif, Bauhaus and retro. And this is the result. And now I'm going to show you the parameters you can use to improve your motion requests. The first parameter is aspect ratio. This parameter can be used for adjusting aspect ratio, the width and height of a video. It is used as in mid-journey by writing numbers, e.g. 16 to 9, 9 to 16, 1 to 1, 4 to 5, default is 10, 24 to 576. For example, slash, create prompt, close up of a beautiful girl running through a poppy field, aspect ratio 16 to 9. Note, if you upload a 16 to 9 image, Pika Labs will understand this and will keep the ratio. 
Here, I generated a video by uploading a 16 to 9 image, and although I didn't specify an aspect ratio in the prompt, the resulting video kept the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And here I have uploaded a 9 to 16 image, and as you can see the video has the same image. The next parameter is camera. It is used for directing the camera movement in your video clip. Accepts zoom or pan or rotate. Only one of these can be used at a time. For example, I'll use the same image and prompt, but add a camera zoom in. The third parameter is frames per second. It is used for adjusting the frames per second, the higher, the more smoother will be your video. It is described with numbers between 8 and 24, and default number is 24. I'll show you the same prompt again, but I'll also add the FPS and zoom out parameters. Her hair is blowing in the wind dash FPS 16 dash camera zoom out. The fourth parameter you can use is motion. It is used to adjust the movement strength and takes values from 1 to 4. Here in the first example, I will put this prompt with a value of motion 1. Her hair is blowing in the wind and she smiles widely, motion 1. And then to see the difference, I'm going to use the same motion, but with a motion value of 3. The fifth parameter is guidance scale. It is used for adjusting the guidance scale, the higher, the more related to text and takes values from 8 to 24, default is 12. Here is the example. Her hair is blowing in the wind, and she smiles widely dash motion, 4 dash GS20. And we can see the difference, the hair really does blow more pronounced. The next parameter is negative prompt. It is used negative prompting unwanted words, what you don't want the video to have. For example, slash, create prompt. The car is moving on the road, motion 3, camera pan right, NEG noisy, bad quality, distorted. And this is the same prompt, with the same image, but with a parameter, camera pan right and negative prompt. And the last parameter for now, this is the seed parameter used to generate videos with a specified sequence when both prompt and negative prompt are unchanged. Seed number of a generated video can be found at the end of its file name. Also at the initial generation, you can write a seed with random numbers. For example, seed 12345. Well, this video already really surprised me. Here are some more examples. The big moon is rolling, motion 3, camera rotate clockwise, NEG noisy, bad quality, distorted. The big moon is rolling and the poppies are swaying, motion 3, camera pan right, NEG noisy, bad quality, distorted. Well, that was all for today. As I told you, in the description of this video there is a link to ko-fi.com, where you can download the file containing selected information about the parameters you can use, as well as the examples from today's video. You can list a price of zero, and download it completely free. Friends, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more similar content.